do I have an original thought in my head? My bald head? Maybe if I were happier, my hair wouldn't be falling out. Life is short. I need to make the most of it. I make these lists each day as a means of offering a bit of sanity to a hectic schedule and to make sure I can get it all done. I assume it's not that uncommon of a practice because I see it all around me. My class schedule, a TV guide, the calendar attached to my email account, or any other form of program's kind. Today is the first day of the rest of my life. I'm a walking cliche. I really need to go to a doctor and have my leg checked. There's something wrong, a bump. The dentist called again. I'm way overdue. If I stopped putting things off, I would be happier. At the end of any given week, I find that I can't actually remember what I've done. I've lost complete track of myself, and yet I keep on scheduling, regimenting, and ordering my time for each day. All I do is sit on my fat ass. If my ass wasn't fat, I'd be happier. I wouldn't have to wear these shirts with the tails out all the time. Like that's fooling anyone, fat ass. I should start jogging again. Five miles a day, really do it this time. 16 hours will pass and my day will wind down. I think I've finished everything, at least all that I've set out to do for the day but I'll have to consult the list to make sure. Frankly, right now, I'm tired and I'm heading home. I'll worry about what I accomplished later. I head back to my car and 15 more minutes of transit time pass with my mind absent from the body. The moments between school and my home are lost. I need to fall in love. I need to have a girlfriend. I need to read more, improve myself. What if I learned Russian or something? or took up an instrument. I could speak Chinese. I'd be the screenwriter who speaks Chinese and plays the oboe. That would be cool. I should get my hair cut short. Stop trying to fool myself and everyone else into thinking I have a full head of hair. How pathetic is that? Just be real, confident. Isn't that what women are attracted to? Men don't have to be attractive, but that's not true, especially these days. What is the origin of your work? Where does it come from? And almost more importantly, where is it going? What are its limits? I am the origin of my work. Its limits are other people most of the time worried. You said you're interested in non-knowledge. How can knowledge not be? Perhaps knowledge itself is a fallacy, a delusion. I'm interested in the change in the work as it's executed. I'm interested in the feedback loop which occurs within myself as the work is executed.
It strikes me that not even one time have you depicted physical space in your thesis work. Which begs the question, is this work really architecture or is it something else, painting or printmaking, some kind of art exercise? I don't think that architecture has anything to do with space. I didn't brush my hair today. Should I have done that before I came here? I'll tell you later. I'm not wearing any makeup. Will this look right on film? I'll tell you later. I don't perceive architecture to be about time at all. Can you explain this connection? Architecture is not about anything. It's a neutral backdrop, a 
upon which we live our lives. It's the positive which forms the negative, the spaces which we inhabit and exist with. Is my head too big for the frame? 